Hi, I'm Camille Pajarillaga from BSA 1 of Nevisa University of Science and Technology and this is Physics for Engineers 1. So for this video, we're going to talk about work energy theorem. So this theorem states that the work or the total work that is being done on an object is equivalent to its total kinetic energy. Therefore, we have work, total work is equivalent to kinetic energy. And it, it can be also equivalent to, so that's the network, um change in kinetic energy. And we all know that the change in kinetic energy is Ke final minus Ke initial. And these two are, um, they have a formula of 1 half mv final squared minus 1 half mv initial squared. So, this theorem states that this formula can be used because work is equivalent to kinetic energy. So yeah, now let's move forward to our sample problem. A 220 kilogram motorcycle is moving at 14 meters per second. What is the total work that must be done on the motorcycle to increase its speed to 19 meters per second? So what we're looking for here is the net work. And we're going to use this formula because we have here a mass of 220 kilogram an initial velocity of 14 meters per second and a final velocity of 19 meters per second so yeah we're just going to substitute these values in our formula work net is equivalent to 1 half and the final squared minus 1 half m v initial squared. So we have 1 half m v final squared minus v initial squared. So we have 1 half 220 kilograms multiplied by um, 19 meters per second quantity squared minus 14 meters per second quantity squared. And we have a total of 1 8150 joules. There. So our total net force that is needed in order to increase the motorcycle's speed is 18,150 joules. So we can say that when work is positive, its um, speed increases. Like the greater the work, the greater the force applied, the greater the speed that um, the object will get and when it's negative the speed will decrease because the work um, gets lesser the force gets lesser the distance gets lesser hence the speed will be lesser so yeah this is work energy theorem and thank you so much for watching